I mean, people are saying it's because players um, are uh, celebrating in the wrong places. But I, I did a game at Dorchester against Plymouth for a, another channel, and I, I coin it me and the eye, and I'm I'm doing a punditry work. So it's it, 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 I mean, what's that all about? I mean, I just think it's it, it's up to supporters to to police it. We've got to stand up, and if you see idiots, and what, that's what they are, morons and idiots. If you see that, get hold of a student, get hold of a policeman, and report them. You're not, you're not a grass. You just, say, you might be saving someone a serious injury. If that hits Rio in the eye, he could lose the sight of his eye, and and that would be, well, it's just ridiculous on the football pitch, isn't it? Football's all about celebrating winning. It's, it's not about rubbing it in the opposing supporter's face. I take that. I take that point. But even if support footballers do that, what mindless idiot would throw a coin at him? I mean, I think Rooney was taking a corner kick at one stage and got and got battered. Now, and, and I've managed Man City and played there, and it's a fantastic club and the sport is great, but you can't condone that. They're just completely out of order and we need it away from football grounds. It, 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 I think it happened to Bellamy at Old Trafford last year. or you know, So it's there and Sir Alex said it happened at Chelsea uh, when they played there. So we need to iron out and, and uh, be, besides putting nettings up, which I, I believe Gordon Taylor has recommended, supporters have got to come out and accept responsibility and police it themselves. If they see people throwing coins and lighters and whatever, you've got to report them.